This is my reaction to Scott Moss in Season 2, Episode 9, Thought You Were Chill. In the last episode, Grace was kind of stressing over what happened between her and Clay. She did eventually tell the girls what happened with Clay, and they ended up going to the doctor. However, then Daniel was told by Clay about what happened, or his side of the story, which probably made Grace look to be a lot worse than what actually happened. And Daniel kind of got mad at Grace, and Grace stormed off very upset. And, yeah, let's watch. Faith. Sit. Off to a great start already. I don't remember either. Live. <laughs> Stop with me, Clay. Yeah. I know she said fucking, but you didn't hear it, but that's what she said. I want to know what happened. I thought you were chill. I thought... Actually, I knew you were an asshole. Never mind. What I was going to say, I thought you were an asshole, mean? but... Does that mean that I was supposed we're... to let you and your friends do whatever you wanted to me? Is oh. that what chill means? Oh, you're just pissed because Daniel found out you're being a little slut. Wow! Oh my god, punch him in the face. Punch him in the face, kick him in the balls, do something to physically hurt this guy. Seriously. I'm sorry that you feel the need to projectile vomit your toxic self-hatred onto me. There it is, I knew it was something <laughs> I'm else. sorry that I spent this entire time blaming myself for what happened that night. Yeah. Especially when you're dumb enough to take photos of a naked, underage girl and text them to her. Yep. Pretty sure there's some laws against that. There are. There's, there's a couple, actually. In fact, there are several. Yeah. What happened? Yeah, let, let's get the truth Nothing. out. Nothing. I swear, you were, like, smelling the pillow and, and singing about how much you love Daniel. Okay, I took those pictures, but I didn't touch you, all right? This is a huge misunderstanding. Okay. What happened with the car, though? I'm sorry. I'm still confused about that. Okay, I messed up. Yes, you did. Now, what happened with the car? Oh, please. Please don't get me in trouble, Grace. Please. Wow. What's wrong? You just became your bitch. I thought you were chill. <laughs> Damn. Honestly, I'm never really going to know what happened. Yeah. Okay. That, 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 that's a good message. Oh. Good enough for him to respond. Okay. If he sends a one word text like his brother does and takes forever to type one word, I'm going to lose my shit. Or if it just goes away. Fucking knew it. Oh! Oh! Okay. Does he not know that she can see the text bubbles when he's typing? No, no, I'm talking to your bros. What? Asking if they trust me. I'm trying to read them. Oh. Okay. She's an eyebrow. What are reader. they saying? Um. Hi. Oh. Damn, so Kelsey Bear, you can get it. <laughs> they look amazing. Drink a little bit of medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, you want some? I'm okay. Thank you. Oh, that's good. Really? Yes. Don't encourage her. Kind of like taking a break from drinking, actually. Okay, that that's good. Because I know she was having problems with it earlier. Just tired of not remembering stuff. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're gonna have so much fun at prom! Woo! <laughs> that was so fake. Must every moment be a story? Sending him subliminal messages to prove how amazing I'm doing. What if Damien shows up at her prom and like asks her You're to dance something? You're super busy. I know. That's just a theory. Can you just let me be depressed that <laughs> no boy will ever love me and I will die alone? Oh. Well, hey, I'll love you. Oh my god, wait, he just saw it. <laughs> like, I posted it like two minutes ago. He is stalking. <laughs> this man 
loves me. Oh. Hey. Don't even talk, bro. Do you want to dance? No. Yeah, thank you, Yeah. Sorry. And your 2019 Bold and High Prom King is... Of course, Daniel Williamson. Oh. Is he here? Oh, no, he's not here. Oh, he didn't even come to prom, wow. That's my good time. Your prom queen is... Zoya Ali. Yeah! Please tell me this isn't some sort of, like, fucked up prank. Please tell me it's not. Like, let her enjoy this. She deserves it. This one's for my losers. <laughs> Get up here, bitches, come on. <laughs> Where's Daniel? Family stuff. Alive. Can't say prom. She's hoping Daniel will see it. No. Oh, no, 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 I don't like that. I like this. But I did not do senior say out. Oh, they're juniors. That's why. <clears throat> I'm stupid. Oh, he saw it. But he didn't say anything. Oh. One request. He did the right thing talking to Clay. Oh, it's the girl. What's her face? I've deaf seen you around. That doesn't answer the question. I'm hooking up with Clay's friend Graham. Okay. I know, can we get a name? Oh. What the fuck not? Like, do you not have a name? Uh, well, she doesn't really give a shit about that. And why the hell do you tell her that instead of just her name? I'm assuming Clay told Graham. Yeah, he was. He fucking became her bitch. Clay, yes. Accurate. He sucks. <laughs> Accurate. Truth, yes. You seriously don't remember. Can you fill us in? Please talk about the car crash that almost happened. Okay. Do you know what happened with the car? I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> I walked in Daniel's bedroom and you were wasted. You took off all your clothes and were humping Daniel's cold smelling. <laughs> but I'm trying to smell like him. Clay was taking pictures of you and Graham was wasted. Edge egging you on. Very creepy. I got them to leave you alone by saying you had to puke. They went to go find weed. Then we went to the bathroom and you actually did puke. Haha. -ha. Okay, do we know anything about the car? The car crash that almost happened? You asked if you could sleep in Daniel's bed, so I took you back and wrapped you up, you, you up in the blanket and you went to sleep. The end. Sorry, I waited so long to get in touch. Yeah, I know. What happened? Didn't realize you really didn't remember. <laughs> what? Find my toothbrush and my elbow and my soul. <laughs> That's very random, but okay. I mean, like, if you saw me IRL, I'd be smiling with, with my friends, but inside I feel nothing. Wow! That's big ass mood. <clears throat> I'm not even gonna lie. So I'm just going through the motions. Also mood. And I'm always in my also mood. Oh, no, I don't like where this is going. Are you sure? You're JKing? <laughs> I mean, true, but... 
Hey, Abby, can we talk? Okay. Yeah, what's up? I'm usually never wrong. <laughs> you tried to tell me about Hunter, and I didn't listen oh, to you. Oh, right. If you're insinuating that you want me to consistently be rude to you, I can definitely do that. <laughs> I mean, I can. Yeah. Sounds good. Oh, cool. That's kind of like a cute little friendship thing. Prom queen, or frenemy type thing. I like that. That's really amazing. Like, it would have been super racist if it wasn't you. And you looked beautiful, of course. That's perfect. Oh. I'm really glad it worked out that way. Yeah. Bye, Abby. Okay. Bye. Well, so much for that little cute friendship I just said. Bye. Wow. Went to see play. What happened? Oh. Um. Yo, D, we gotta go now or we're gonna miss your flight. Oh. Daniel. Oh. Daniel, stop. <laughs> it's never gonna get any easier. The bullshit's just gonna keep on coming. Yep. That's life for your friends. And yeah, some pretty awful stuff went down with your brother. And it sucked. It did. For me. Yes. But I'm not running away. Nope, she's facing her problems head on. This relationship is not perfect. No, it's not. I, I know that. But it's ours. No. Oh. Goodbye, Grace. <sighs> oh, my. Oh, wow. Don't. Oh, rude. Come on now. Don't, don't pull the shit. Are we gonna see a bright ass orange car come in the background? Cause that was a bright ass car. Oh, was that him? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Never mind, we didn't even see a car. I can explain everything. Oh. Then my reaction scum Austin season two, episode nine, thought you were chill. So Grace talked to Clay and pretty much made him her bitch. He literally was like begging her not to say anything or show it to anyone. Like he, like he, like she owned him after that. She owns him now. He's not gonna fuck with her or anyone else anymore. Like she owns him. At prom, Zoya was crowned prom queen, which was. Great, and it wasn't a prank, which I'm glad because I, I was thinking that the whole time there was gonna be some sort of prank or whatever. It wasn't, and I'm glad. However, we did later on find out that it was because people would have thought that if they didn't vote for her, it would have been racist because someone wrote terrorists on her locker. Green nail polish girl texted Grace and was like, Hey, nothing happened, don't worry. Then Grace found out Daniel was leaving for New York, and she tried to stop him, and then he left, but then he came back, and they kissed, and now it seems like they are back together. So yeah, that's it.